Hello, how do you do? I'm about to go and do a keynote session for an annual staff event here in Atlanta. I better introduce where I'm from. Yes, I'm from England. You've heard of English muffins. We call them something else. We call them muffins. And it's always good to have a bit of funny. I can hear all your children on the other side of the fence. They're all chanting, 13, 13, 13. I went, oh, friendly. Little hole in the fence. I thought, I'll have a look through, see what game they're playing. I stick my eye in. Some kid shoves a stick in my eye. Ow! They all start chanting, 14, 14, 14. I inspire leaders, businesses, and organizations to get out their box. Some scientists, they got a real box and they put some fleas in the box. And they watch the fleas jump and hit their head on the ceiling of the box. Ouch! But then after a few minutes, the fleas grew fed up of being hurt. But they kept jumping, but they stopped just a millimeter or two below the lid of the box. The scientists took the lid of the box off. Did the fleas jump out? No. No. They just kept on jumping to where they were used to where they weren't disappointed, where they didn't get hurt, and they stayed in the box because it was safe. Oh, I better tell my Britain's Got Talent story. Walk out on stage in silence. There is Simon Cowell looking at me. Very nervous, so I begin my act. And Simon Cowell, I know, is about to push the golden button, but he pushes the other one. And and I realize something for the first time that not many people know. Simon Cowell is colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> so if happiness improves productivity by over 20%, why do more organizations get their employees happier? H-A-P-Y, these are the four things we're going to do to have a happier year. H stands for we're going to live in the here and now. When I win the money, then I'll be happy. You won't. Most lottery winners say it's the worst thing that ever happened to them. Happiness is always today. In the next five years, you have about another 230 working Mondays. I know. Do you really want to come in every Monday and go, oh, it's Monday again today, I just can't wait to do dinner. What a waste of life, that's almost a year of your life. Turn Monday into your best day. Have steak on Mondays. Maximize your time. Someone says, we have an Elvis impersonator. We're all going out to Vegas tonight. Oh, no, grumble, 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 an Elvis impersonator. Oh. But one guy has a good attitude. He says, come on, let's just clap everything Elvis do. Let's have a good time. He was quite influential because they all said, yeah, let's do that. So they have a few beers, they go out, they go to Vegas, and uh, Elvis comes on main stage. They begin to cheer, Elvis, we love you, you're the best. A whole crowd get behind this small crowd and the whole atmosphere takes off. One person affects the whole crowd. Not only did they have a fantastic time because they choose to flip their attitude, but also just before his final song, Elvis breaks down on main stage. He breaks down in tears and he says, I just want you all to know, tonight has been the best night of my life. Thank you very much, Elvis. Time for a volunteer. So Phil, we haven't chatted before, have we? No. No, we haven't practiced, rehearsed? No. Right, I've got the wrong film. Uh, so Phil, I wonder if you can help me out. See, my, uh, I don't have any dummies with me today. <laughs> so maybe you could just temporarily just fill in. We'll just do a little joint act for, for just one minute. So Phil, all you need to do is uh, stand up straight, look straight ahead. Now if you don't mind, I'll just squeeze your neck like this. When I do that, I want you to do this. Okay, wide and shut. I'll give you a voice, a mouth shut. Here we go, so here we go, understand? Yes. Sure? Yes. All right. Are you really sure? Yes. You're doing very well. Let's see if we can count to three. Here we go. One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> Phil, are you wearing your underwear? No. <laughs> so if one of the biggest causes of problems is miscommunication between staff and to employees and to customers, then I think we better address that. If you're an animal, you'd be a beaver. You'd beaver away. Oh, the stick's fallen off the dam. Quick, fix it, fix it, fix it. Get it perfect. I know you're blue. Look, the blue person, you've laid out all the snacks for us perfectly. There's even a little star shape, beautifully arranged. 
If you drove a car, you'd research it for months before committing. <laughs> if a little German economical car, no bumper sticker, no marks on my car. Everything's organized inside just in case something happens. <laughs> so let's talk about you. All I've done is ask you questions about you. And you think I'm the most interesting man. And we go through life trying to be interesting. Look what I've done on Facebook. Look at my social media. Look where I've been. But we become interesting when we become interested. He did all that without moving his mouth. Ah, bookmark and get me free. Sort of like a two for one deal. Ah. I do. So can you. Ah.